Okay. Thank you, Ms. Loretta. I appreciate that, Ms. Loretta. Um, okay, we're going to move on to the Valdosta cases. One thing I failed to mention earlier, um, because we do have such a long agenda and a couple of the cases that we're about to hear are probably going to run rather long, we are going to take a 10-minute break after item number six on the agenda. Um, that's just so the commissioners can refresh, grab a drink, or whatever they need to do. So after item number six, we'll take a 10-minute break. So we'll um, now jump on to item number four, that's VA 2020-01. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Hopefully while the PowerPoint is coming up for this one, this is a rezoning request by Pete's Auto. Rezone 0.67 acres from a combination of R6 and community commercial to all highway commercial. So the property is the backyard of the existing Pete's Auto uh, shop business. The business has an address of 401 East Ann Street. Um, it is a corner configuration of lots, and they're looking to rezone some recently acquired properties along Marion Street um, directly to their south. In your packet are a series of maps. And I think the screen will eventually catch up to us. But you see the zoning pattern that is there. The area outlined in green is the subject property for rezoning. The other areas outlined in black are the existing Pizza Auto properties. You see they already have commercial zoning. Part of the area in green is community commercial already and is used as a storage yard. Um, there are six properties until a few months ago. Each had a dilapidated single family residence. Those have been removed. Um, and the applicant is wanting to expand into the property. One of the differences between CC and CH zoning is the type of automotive repair that goes on, um, major versus minor. Major automotive repair is allowed only in CH. Um, the applicant does both, and so they're wanting the CH zoning to have the flexibility throughout their main site. Um, the area that's across the street on the other corner that's on CC is residual commercial property that's currently undeveloped. Um, also in your packet, the next map shows the character area map from the future development map. Um, you see this is all labeled as Community Activity Center, which is everything west of Marion Street. Um, and the whole purpose in reviewing this, at least in the thought process, is to have Marion Street definitely as the separation between the commercial corridor of Ashley versus the residential development to the east of Marion. Uh, the next map shows the aerial imagery. Um, and there again you see the main parcel that's developed. On the subject property before the houses were cleared. And then beyond that was some site plans. This is the one from last summer. Um, this was a multi-phase project on the part of the applicant. Um, they went through Zoning Board of Appeals, uh, requested and received the variance for the proposed building along Marion Street to be a few feet closer to the road than the code would allow. At that time, they were contemplating splitting their parking lot into two areas one on the main site that you see, the other in that corner lot across the street to the east. Um, since then, the applicant had acquired the additional properties to the south. They are now proposing to consolidate all of their parking onto one site, which is the next site plan. So this is the revised site plan that the applicant is working through. So the parking would extend through what is now the CC area, and then the R6 areas if reserved the commercial would become part of the storage yard. I think in your packets when I came out, there's some larger versions of this. In terms of zoning issues, character area supports highway commercial zoning. Um, applicants proposing to put solid fence um, extended the rest of the way down Marion Street, um, which will be fully screened. That is one of the code requirements. They will also be required to fully screen in the new expansion, which is the R6 properties. And so that will be screened from view either by buildings that are nearby or by new fence um, with opaque okay screen, and then, of course, landscape. Um, further in the PowerPoint, we have some pictures. This is the northeast corner of the property looking at the front of the main building. Marion Street is the street on the left. The next picture shows more of the Marion Street frontage. And you see some of the fencing, some of the trees and shrubs that are just getting started. Those were a requirement by the Zoning Board of Appeals, and the proposal is to extend that any further down the area. Uh, the next shot 
there's no work of fence, the applicant went ahead at their own risk to put up existing fencing so they can secure that storage area. It also gives us a little bit of an idea of what it might look like before the landscaping is installed. Um, they will also have to make that gate okay as well with the fence. Um, and then some type of opaque screen on the other side. This is to completely separate them from Marion Street. Um, and the primary entrance for the business will still be on this name. So with that, staff has found the request consistent with the conference of plan, our standards for exercise of zoning power, and we're recommending approval of the rezoning. All right. Thank you, Matt. Are there any questions from staff for staff? Certainly. I'm just curious, you mentioned that Mary Street is really the true divider between CH and, and residential. And, and a lot of the corner is, is it is it CH or is it still residential? A lot on the corner is CC, it's a unity commercial. It has been zoned that way for decades. Um, it's a very narrow lot. The applicant originally thought about putting a new building there, um, came up with a plan to get it to fit, got some variances to help that happen. It was still not an ideal arrangement. Um, the applicant then, this is a couple years ago, um, the applicant then abandoned that idea and instead went with a parking lot design and then acquired more property. Um, part of the applicant's concern, which I'm sure they'll tell you, is having all of their storage, all of their parking under one place um, for security purposes. And so the site plan they had last summer that split the parking was not ideal. <coughs> They're now looking to have most everything on the main site. The corner CC lot is still the corner of CC lot. Okay. There are no plans to change that. No plans to develop that yet. Okay. Although plan A was to do dual parking lots, mm -hmm. that is still a possibility. Okay. Um, the approval is there. He's just wanting to get commercial zoning extended so he can get everything to do. Any other questions from the commission? Mm -hmm. All right, if not, I'll turn it over to public participation. Is there anyone here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of the request? Please come forward. Please state your name and address for us, please. My name is Matt Phelps, 4560 Belmont Drive. Uh, I'm the applicant engineer representative for this project. And Mark did a wonderful job explaining all that uh, timeline and everything that's going into this. So, really, if there's just any particular questions on that, and the applicants are working also. Okay. Any questions? It's a gorgeous fence. I love that straight line. It's great. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Matt. All right, is there anyone else here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of the request? Please come forward. All right. If not, is there anyone here tonight wishing to speak against the request? Please step forward. Is there no one wishing to speak against the request? If not, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners for a discussion. And if no further discussion, I'll ask for a motion. Madam Chair. Commissioner Bailey. Page 2020-01 Pete uh, Auto. I make a motion that uh, we approve the request of the city commission. Okay. Second. All right. Is there any discussion on the motion presented? If not, all those voting in favor of the motion, please raise your right hand. All those voting against, motion carries.